Hi, I'm Shirella. I have decided something finally. I believe that there are two camps. There's the one camp that says, God doesn't really care what you do. Just decide what you want to do and do it. Then there's the other camp. The other camp says, God cares about the smallest of the sparrows that falls. He cares about the details of life. He cares about the smallest things in your life. And he will provide for you. And he will make the path open for your dreams to come true. In that first camp, they might say, you don't need to go to the store and pray over cans of beans. What kind of beans should you buy? But in my camp, which I'm now going to say is this camp over here that's going to trust God, I'm going to say, maybe there is a reason to care. Maybe there's salmonella or some whatever botulism in the one can of beans or whatever. Um, so I have decided I am going to go into the camp that trusts in God. And it has to do with faith. The first camp says, have faith in yourself, have faith in what happens to you. And that's fine. If you want to have faith in something that's more dependent on you, great, do it. If you know what you want to do, you have that, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a teacher. You know what you're going to do, great, go do it. If you're in my camp, you have faith that God is going to provide. And that is harder than this camp that just says, go do what you want to do. In this camp, it is a daily checking in with God. Okay, am I doing what you want me to do? And sometimes, oftentimes, I don't hear anything back. And it's just like, okay, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing unless I get changed in that direction some way. Let me know. And sometimes that gets frustrating because it's easier. I think those people who have chosen this camp to be a doctor or a teacher, it's easier because they just know what to do. They know what schooling to take. They know which path to take. They know what to do day in, day out. Whereas I'm going, okay, God, do you want me to record a video today about being in this camp, the camp of complete faith? Yes. Okay, I go and do that because he cares about that smallest of sparrows. So... As I said, you can have faith in yourself and life as it unfolds, or you can have faith in God and keep adjusting those little micro adjustments as you go along the path day in, day out. Now, I'm just going to veer off of this subject just a titch because it's something that I hear people say. They say, how can you know, or, okay, let me, let me rephrase. How can you get what you want if you don't know what it is that you want to get? So this kind of relates because if someone says, I'm going to be a doctor, they know what they want to do. They have that end goal that they're looking towards, and then they have that end profession that they're going to go towards, and they know what they're going to get. So they can have an idea. They can put that on their vision board. I'm going to be a doctor. But I say, how about you have faith and trust that God is going to put things in your path that you could never have guessed? So maybe 10, 12 years ago, I created a vision board and I had this vision board. I had little pieces of paper with a little explanation of the things that I wanted in my life. And I looked at it morning and night and dreamt about it and felt the feelings from two minutes to five minutes, two times a day from before I went to bed at night and in the morning two that two times a day. And I discovered something after doing that for about a decade. I discovered that God has so much more in store for me than I can guess and that I can envision that my mind is a finite mind. And if I only go for the things that I want, God provides for me more than I could know that I could want. So again, I go to this camp that says, okay, God, this would be nice, this end result, but keep directing me, keep um, allowing me this little path, direct me. And when I get somewhere that I shouldn't be, I can go the other way. That's fine. Just let me know. So in the times that I have opened up and just said, God has something great in store for me and I'm so excited for it, then things fall into my lap that magically seem like they would have never happened. For example, during COVID, um, we have a big scholarship program that happens in our state. And I would always thought, man, those are some pretty important judges who are coming along and judging these young high schoolers 
who have qualified in various areas from dance, music, science, um, language, they, you know, the variety of different subjects that you can qualify for to be able to try to get this scholarship. During COVID, I got a text from a, sent, uh, from a friend who said, well, I know that you're musical. Could you come and judge this um, pageant because all of the judges are afraid to come out into the public and um, would you be okay with coming and you know wear a mask and be a judge? I was like, are you kidding? This is like a dream come true. Like, this is totally a big something for the resume to say I judged this, this scholarship um, program. Did I call it a pageant? Anyway, pageant program, you know, I'm saying. So I went and I was this judge and it was super fun. And one of the judges actually came down from the college and I learned so much from this guy, mainly about just sort of like letting things happen to just don't be too nervous about how the child or the high schooler is doing things because you want to project as a judge a calmness so that the child is also calm and I learned that in a big way from this guy who came down from the college so I was I, I was sitting among amongst the giants judging these kids and in the end I was like you know what? I'm a pretty good adjudicator we had exclusively conclusively come down to the winner and it was no question. We were like, of course, this guy who wrote his own song that was 12 pages long and had all the band instruments and everything, he was the definite winner. And it was fun. I, I totally enjoyed it. And I thought I could have never had that on my vision board ever. Another example is that um, recently I have been in a play for The Sound of Music and I tried out to be a nun. I thought that'd be fun just to sit there and sing with a, 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 ba a bunch of nuns, kind of like in Sister Act, you know, we're all singing along. And so that was really fun practicing. And then they said, oh, we have a scene with the waltz. We need some waltzers. And I had never set myself up to be the waltzer, but I've, I've waltzed with my husband before. So I said, hey, can, can we do the waltz? And they said, sure. And there was only like five or six couples that were chosen. So I was able to put myself out there and I did have to put myself out there. They didn't come begging to me. I had to put forth that effort and say, this is what I'd like to do. And they said, yeah, we'd love you. And we have had so much fun waltzing and I get to wear a big flowy dance dress and it's going to be super fun. And that would have never been on my vision board to be dancing the waltz in a play. It's like God just rains down these opportunities for me that were not ever even in my knowledge to put on a vision board. So do we go with God doesn't care, just do whatever, or did he set me up for these awesome things? And do I just keep projecting in my mind? I can't wait for the next awesome thing that's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next year. I like this camp. Maybe I'm a little uh, more risky. And these people over here just take the little path. You know, we know what to do. And I'm like, okay, God, just direct me and we'll do it. I don't know. I guess I have funner. There's more adventures around this side. So I go with this camp. What about you? Do you like this camp of I'm just going to follow God? And it may be a little tricky. And sometimes it may be confusing. It may be... Um, frustrating and maybe boring because you're like okay what do I do now and you hang on and wait and finally you get that little direction okay do this thing okay and I got it which one do you think you are if you like to talk about this kind of stuff you might like my program for all around good health from eating better moving your body more to self-care which this is that we're talking about is taking care of your spiritual and mental physical health and if you want more on this, you can go to my program. It's a 91-day app-based program. And you can go to www.honeydohealthin91.com.